for practice it, self check 2.32 star exclamation 2. We are asked what is the output of the following sequence of loops? So we have a nested loop here, or we have an outside loop here. Then we have a nested loop inside of that, and then a nested loop inside of that. So we are running through our outermost loop twice because i has to be less than or equal to 2. Our second nested loop, or our first nested loop, three times because j has to be less than or equal to 3. And then our next nested loop four times because k has to be less than or equal to 4. Once we hit that, we are going to print out this star right here. So the first time we run through this, i is equal to 1, j is equal to 1, and k is equal to 1. So we're printing out a star, k is equal to 2, we're printing out a star, k is equal to 3, we're printing out a star, and k is equal to 4, we're going to print out another star. Once k is equal to 4, we are going to break out of this nested loop, and then we are going to go back into this nested loop, because j is still equal to 1. So we're going to go back in this loop, and we have to run through our nested loop one more time. So we have a star, 2, 3, 4, and since k is equal to 4 again, we break out of this inner loop, and then we go back into this loop, because j is still equal to 2. Now j is equal to 3, so this is the last time we're going to do this. And then we have a star, 2, 3, 4. So we have that. Now that our j is equal to 3, we are going to break out of this loop, this section that we have highlighted, and we are going to go and hit this code right here. So we are going to print out an exclamation mark, and then we are going to go to a new line because of this code right here. Now, since we're going back in this for loop, after we execute that line, we go back up into this loop. i is now equal to 2, so we're going to do this one more time. We have to run through all of this one last time. So what we could do here is just copy this, paste it here, like this, because it's going to be the exact same thing because it's in a loop. And if we submit it, we have passed the test.